Hey everybody, Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Welcome back to another Fortnite video. In this video, we're going to be making something rather ambitious. Rust Lord's Back Bling. All right, everybody, this was a fun one. Not a lot of 3D printing in this, just the bullets over here. Uh, the rest of it's just good old-fashioned foam work and even more fun found object work. So all this tubing and the, the sort of spigot uh, handle here and the wires and the license plate, which I bought off of eBay. Who knew you could do that? It was $4. And just all the stuff that I found and glued up. <laughs> this was a fun, fun build. The only problem is I deleted a card that had... 90% of this build on it. There's still, you know, a good a little bit of amount to show the finishing work, but uh, basically it's it's a foam box. You can see in the back, just a foam box um, with, you know, your regular, some matte foam, some doubled up foam, and then just foam shapes cut out and glued together. Now the cool thing about this is where there are little bolts and nuts, those are real. So I went to my dad's shop with a little bag and I just found all this crap that he has and I went ahead and brought it home and used it to put this thing together so there's bolts and screws and metal I mean this is this is metal these are those little strips that you know you used to keep uh, piping together this is a uh, some type of pipe I don't know what he got wire screws nuts uh, this is PVC pipe up here so it was really really cool like I said a lot of the video is not there but some of it is so let's go downstairs and work on this. So I am still digging playing Fortnite. Uh, I don't suck as much as I used to when I filmed this, where I'm just getting killed right off the bat. And of course, I'm still working on my Rust Lord cosplay. It is rounding to a close, actually. I'm really excited about some of the stuff I'm going to be working on. And in this video, I tackled a big thing, which is his back bling, his backpack. And it's awesome because it's got all these little doodads and pieces, parts that uh, I really loved collecting and getting together. Now, unfortunately, as I mentioned, I must have deleted that video or I don't know. I can't find the card. It's gone. So at this part of the process, it's pretty much put together and I'm just adding some of the final details like these bullets that I spray painted. Links to all the bullets or any other 3D pieces will be in the description below. But the cool thing is when you look at this, the silver piping, that's just PVC that I cut and modeled to look like the drawing or the, the CAD drawing, the, uh, fi the files from the video. And all the other things like the hose, that's just a piece of dryer hose and the water nozzle there the little the turning handle that is an actual metal turning handle <laughs> the anything you see that uh, looks like a grate or looks like uh, nuts and bolts are nuts and bolts or screws that I've driven through the plastic I had tons of video on this it's one of the most disappointing losses of my video uh, making uh, enterprises here because it was just fun gluing all this stuff together and finding cables and all this crap in my dad's workshop and putting it together into this backpack. Um, totally bummed out. <laughs> but all in all, I'm super happy with how it came out. And like I said, it is pretty much just a, a box made out of foam and then more pieces of foam to make other little boxes and shapes, just cutting them out and looking at the diagram. Last thing I put on was a license plate. I probably should have put on a small license plate, uh, but I decided I wanted to go with the big one. I thought it was a cool design element. And since I'm from New York, I went with New York. And again, these are real screws and bolts that I'm sort of just driving into the uh, foam, which I believe is, it's a fairly, the, for the backpack, it's fairly thick and for everything else, it's fairly thin. And then I'm sort of just pumping hot glue into the openings and then pushing down the screws into the actual, um, the foam. And then just I'm squirting more hot glue in there to make sure that these things stay on and do not come off. And for the strapping, I just bought some cheap belts at Walmart and fit them through. And then I'm just going to go ahead and weather them so they obviously don't look all bright and shiny and new. All right, so there you go. The back bling for Rust Lord. 
I've got a few more things to do, and then I'm just going to be debuting Rust Lord, I would say within a couple weeks. i uh, really excited because this was so much fun. You know, sometimes you, with the sanding and everything with 3D printing can be a pain in the, in the butt, and uh, this was fun. Cutting foam, glue guns, burning yourself, all that kind of fun stuff. So, again, great, great project. I really enjoyed it. And again, who knew you could buy a license plate on eBay? I guess you can buy anything. So, what are you going to do? Now, if you want to see some of the colors and whatnot that I used to make this, can go to the description below. Head over to my Patreon page. Like and subscribe the video. And uh, this was awesome fun. And I cannot wait to put this thing on and uh, get that whole cosplay ready. So, take it easy, guys. I really appreciate you watching the video. And, uh, yeah. Rust Lord Backpack. <laughs>